people thank you so much for joining me today if today is your first time of watching me welcome if you subscribe to this channel thank you so so much my name is Tommy and on this channel I lay everything down and today is going to be like a mini story time I just wanted to share this video because of a response I got on from my DM oh, sorry from my DM oh, my DM my DM whatever because of a response I got in my DM yes someone sent me a message and she was so sweet like I've never like spoken to her before but she sent me a DM and we got talking for like over 45 minutes we're just like chatting back and forth okay so this was the reason why she sent me this message previously on this channel I shared a vlog where I traveled from Lagos to London sometimes in August 2021 later on in December I also shared a video where I was unboxing the cargo I got from London UK and even in that vlog the vlog where I was traveling I got a few messages from people telling me to tell them how to migrate to the UK I couldn't respond because I felt I was not in a good position to do so I actually responded to a few people that I was not living in the UK I don't live in the UK my parents do my folks do my family basically they do live in London but I was just visiting so if anybody knows me well though this is like a new thing on this channel before I never used to share stuff about my life and all that i have a preview i have another channel where i just like drop diy stuff and i disappear on this channel i'm going to be sharing everything with you guys like you guys are going to be seeing this face more often okay so i have to tell the person or the couple of people that i don't live in london no i don't stay in london i was only visiting it's like my second home but it should be like my second home but unfortunately for the past two years a quick aside guys can you believe that covid has been around for like two four years like yes 2019 was like the last time we had like the same time and this is january 2022 but thank god we are still alive that's the most important thing i was discussing with someone yesterday and the person was lamenting on how the two years are taking so much from him and i was like let's just be thankful we are alive that's the most important thing thank god for life thank god for hope okay so guys in the last two years my travel has been a little bit stunted we know the way it is now traveling during covid traveling in 2020 in 2021 has been not so pleasant except it's like really ideal for you to go like for me i cancelled all my trips except the ones that i really needed to like 2020 of course i stayed in my house all through no traveling anywhere it's even 2021 i was not ready to go anywhere but it was imperative for me to visit my mother to see her and i had to travel don't forget all the tests you do back and forth you do tests in nigeria you do um tests in the uk before you come back you repeat it like four tests and goodness even with the vaccinations i've been fully vaccinated but even with that one you still have to keep on doing those tests so traveling is like an extreme sport right now okay so before i talk too much guys somebody wanted to know why i live in lagos while my folks stay in the uk talking about my folks my dad is late now but my mom has lived in the uk for the past 17 years or more roughly about 17 years and we go back and forth we visit i've never really stayed there my siblings even schooled in the uk i have never schooled in the uk i did my o levels my undergraduate my university my masters i did everything within lagos nigeria distance learning and all that but my siblings even kind of like traveled at different points to do like masters and all that in the uk they came back home eventually but i never did i got married and i've been living in lagos nigeria ever since okay so the reason why i don't stay in the uk was because i'm the last child of my parents and for the uk 
if you are migrating as a student or something you can take your kids along so far they are like below the age of 18 even after you get their papers or something you can file for them to the best of my knowledge if they are below the age of 18 unfortunately as at the time when all this was happening in my family where my mom was migrating I, I'm the baby of the house and I was even above 18 so there's no way I know people say there's a way they can do it now and all that but far back as then it was just seeming like too much and all that so she couldn't file in our papers I was above the age limit and all that and doing all that was becoming too tedious we tried at some point but it wasn't working out so we had to stay back so I'm, I've been for the for a long time in my life I've been used to like having my parents far not very close to me and we talk on phone and all that we get to see each other they come visiting she comes visiting my father is passed on for more than like almost 14 years now so i've also not had my dad around for a long time so but my mom my aunties like my mom's siblings there are a lot of them it's like london is like their second home this person stays here this person stays here this person stays here this cousin stays here my, my mom's cousins and all that like a family our own family not even my dad's my mom's family so she has a lot of people around her sister half sister cousin people she grew up with not the way it used to be when you were growing up in those days you might not even really live with your own parents but you live with another family so the, the family she even lived with growing up many of their kids are in london not even just uk london to be precise and they all like stay around each other so it's always like the family I, I i feel like london is like my second home like we get in touch we eat the food we are used to eating we never really except we want to so it's really like a communal kind of thing there are a lot of them over there i always feel at home every time i go to i don't really have nothing i miss much because it's still like the same old same old everybody is speaking the same dialect i am yoruba by the way we're all speaking together we are visiting this person my kids have been their cousins over there so it's it's like a family but unfortunately the major reason why i don't live in the uk number one i am married maybe things might change in the future but i am married after school i got married and my husband lives in lagos nigeria i have to live in lagos nigeria with him i can't go on to say okay i want to leave my husband and go stay with my mom and all that i have to stay with my husband and my children so that's the primary reason why i don't live in london uk because i got that a few times like how is it possible why would your mother be staying over there you're staying here guys i've not lived with my mother like for real in over 17 years she left while i was in school and we've cooked fine like i don't even feel anything i miss to be very honest honestly to be very sincere i don't feel anything like we cannot stay with her 24 7 even before i got married we got on fine she was always visiting when i could visit as well i visited and it was cool for everybody so that's it guys maybe on this channel i'll find out more based on the information they give me on how you can migrate with your family if that's what you want i know people migrate these days via school or if you get a job and a job sponsors you they sponsor your visa you can easily come over to the uk but for now i'm a Lagosian. i am a nigerian i live in lagos i don't live in london because i got that lot so for me i get it's the other way around for me i live here in lagos i get a lot of stuff coming from london periodically like my mom she's always done that for years like she would just box stuff that she wants to send home not even just for me for people friends family things she wants to give out to people we still have family here definitely things that are for me too she buys a lot of stuff for my kids food and all that so i do maybe i'll be doing that so that was what i did in one of my unboxing videos where i showed the cargo that came from london to lagos usually people do videos that okay come from like lagos to like a canada us london that kind of thing things they get from people back home mine is the reverse okay so it's all good over here like i said for now 
I'm a Lagosian. I don't live in London, UK. I just did a vlog. I was not even relocating because I think, yes, what somebody even thought was that I was actually relocating. That was not a relocation vlog. That was me just showing that I was going visiting and I hope to visit often and continue doing that as much as I can by God's grace. Okay, so that, I just wanted to share that quickly. Yes. My folks stay in London, my family, they stay there, I, have, I, have, I have family here too. And for now, I stay here with my immediate family. So guys, don't worry, I'm going to be bringing a lot of more vlogs away. As in like, you know, I planned, I planned a lot for 2020. I wrote down my goals, I will travel to this place. The last trip I did was London in 2019, yes. And I think I did Dubai then and I was not even vlogging then. So my plan was that like, okay, yes, 2020, I'll vlog, I'll travel to this place, I'll share all that and all that. But guys, we plan, <laughs> but you can only plan. Just pray that God will just have mercy on you. So that's it guys. I hope you subscribe to my channel. You come back here because I have many more amazing stuff to show you guys. So don't go anywhere. Be right here when I come back. My love to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I'll see you in other videos.